let's just think for a minute about, about the affordances of the visual image, even without sound. What it gives you <coughs> is a continuous picture of the unfolding of activity over time, right? That's what the horses' pictures were doing in, in this very uh, crude way. Uh, and that's what cinema film does. If you, uh, 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 you, you get the, a real-time record of, of what people are, can be seen to be doing. And so for various kinds of customary practices, ritual practices or um, uh, artistic displays, dance, uh, uh, and so on, or uh, even a, a, a still film of metalworking, a blacksmith shaping uh, 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 molten uh, metal uh, on an anvil. You can get detailed information <coughs> on the real time, time after time <coughs> occurrence of various kinds of behaviors. Um, that's a great affordance. Uh, part of the problem with it is everything is a trade-off. With affordances come constraints. The constraint is that this continuous record in real time is so potentially information rich that you can very quickly get overdosed with too much of it, right? And that's one of the beginner's mistakes that people make trying to use video or, or any kind of audiovisual recording or even audio recording. You record, as I said to students this morning, you record uh, 31 hour interviews with people and then you got 30 hours to listen to. How, what do you do with that? How do you handle selectivity? That, that becomes a fundamental problem in the use of these kinds of information sources. And it's very similar for audio tape. The audio tape also gives you a continuous record, uh, but its very continuity pushes for some kind of systematic approach to selectivity. Uh, the other advantage of the audio recording and the, the, the visual recording, even without audio, is that the camera's eye and the audio recorder's ear are stupid uh, and unselective. Uh, there's a selectivity when you turn the instruments on and off. That's a big decision. When does an event begin, right? Uh, who are the central people? Where do you want to put the main uh, picture uh, framing? Th 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 those, are, those are human decisions. But once the machinery is on, the sounds that come are whatever the sounds are that that equipment can pick up. The picture that comes is whatever light vibrations are there in the scene. Uh, it doesn't mean it's an objective record, uh, but it does mean that it's absolutely continuous and it's not second guessing anything. And that's very different from an observer, an, uh, participant observer's field notes which are necessarily highly selective. And once again, everything's a trade-off. You get much better information about your own patterns of paying attention and eventually in field work, other people's meaning perspectives, if you're doing the field work right, in field notes than you do with turning on a video camera in the back of the room and letting it run for an hour. But, but what, what, the, what the dumb audiovisual recording device can do is give you continuity and, and not any second guessing, right? And you can learn to use that kind of information source together with other kinds of information sources very profitably, but they're, they're different.